Hi, uh, please tell us your name and uh, where are you from? My name is Cesar Sala. I'm from Brighton Beach, Coney Island. Cesar, what secrets do you have between you and Jaredville? <laughs> secrets? Oh, I don't know if we have any secrets, but... Um, you say don't tell all, yeah, all our secrets. all our secrets. I don't know if we have any actual secrets, but I would say Jared is definitely the man to be uh, with as far as the projects, any handball projects, for sure. Maybe secrets in game, you have any secrets that you could, you could share right now? Secrets? Um, I guess strategies, like get close to the wall. Whoever controls the front court is usually dictating the pace of the game. Um, not to underutilize the backcourt, but that's something that a lot of people don't realize. Uh, whoever's closest to the wall usually controls the court. What's behind you? Well, we have the draws sheets for the junior nationals, right? So we have the 15 and under singles, 17, the 15 and under, under uh, doubles, girls, boys, uh, 17s, and the 19s. Boys and girls, uh, singles and doubles. All small ball? All small ball. The big ball nationals is coming up in a couple of weeks. And then in August, we have the big ball junior nationals. And then we have the speakers cup in July. So there's a, a big ball event coming, then another small ball, and then another big ball. What about this banner? This is the world's. Uh, the, that's that's going to be a great experience for whoever goes. We have a few people going out there. Um, we're working on um, organizing a team to go out there. We usually have one at every Worlds. Um, so this is going to be the one wall. Uh, Worlds, they have big, big ball and small ball, one wall. Uh, it's going to be in Ireland, as it shows there. Um, August 18th to 23rd. And in October, I believe, they're going to have the four wall uh, World Championships also in Ireland. What do you like about the game? Oh, there's so many things I like about the game. I like the fact that you can play it at any age. Um, it doesn't matter how young or old you are. Once you start learning the skill to play, you can get something out of it. You know, it doesn't matter uh, what your limitations are. You could be big, small, heavy, thin, athletic, not so athletic. You could play singles and doubles and anybody can play. It's great, it's great. It's the closest thing to fighting without fighting because you're hitting something over and over again and you're fighting for position. So it's a physical physical game without the violence. How old are you? Uh, I'm old enough to know, but too young to care. <laughs> so what's your secret, man? That's a secret? I mean, they're not secrets. I think most of us know the answers. It's just about implementing those answers into your life. We all know that if you eat right, you're going to be healthy. And if you, uh, if you do things that, like meditation and prayer and things of that nature, it's going to be good for your soul, good for you. We know that grounding, you know, going onto the grass barefoot and feeling like the, the earth beneath your feet, that's good for you. Exercising is good for you. Studying, learning new skills. Those are all things that we know are good for us. But does everybody do it enough? Not so much. So it's about implementing. So the secret is doing it, not just knowing it. Doing it in your life. So overall, I'm very happy. Um, but you, you have to accept that life has its ups and downs. That's just how it is. Suffering is, is an important part of life as well. It's not just about being happy all the time. What else do you do? I'm a police officer in NYPD. I work in community affairs. <laughs> so yeah, um, the police department has been a blessing to me. So I've been very lucky to be able to work for the, for the department for almost 20 years now. So it's, um, it's been a great experience and it still is. A lot of police officers love the game. Yes. Are some of the top players you could uh, count? I mean, well, Carlos and Buda, you know, they were police officers. They retired now. Uh, well, Buda passed away. God bless him. And um, Carlos, is, he runs the event, the Buda Memorial. Um, Teresa, there's a whole bunch of us. You know, I don't want to, you know, yeah. some people, not, they don't okay. advertise the fact that they are officers, but there's plenty of us around and playing ball. Just an educational uh, side of it. Can you tell me, um, as a cop, uh, information on more, how much do you go for theft, for assault, and for for, for uh, homicide? How much do you go uh, to Rikers? For how long? For um, how long? That's not time I, my camera froze. Cause that's not something that's in my wheelhouse. It's not like I, I could just tell you this guy's gonna do a three to five or whatever it is. You know. No, but what is the average? I want young kids to know that they could play this sport and then 
they have a choice, but if they go the wrong way, what, what they pay, how many years of their life they pay, well, like the average? I mean, it just comes down to the fact you don't even have to be a police officer to know that if you're on the wrong side of the law, you're going to run into trouble and you're going to put yourself in a situation that you can't control. Someone else controls it when you're doing the wrong thing. So it's about controlling your, your own life and doing the right steps and taking the right uh, measurements to make things good around you and for those people around you. That's what the, that's the reasons that we have laws to keep us working as a community in unison. We're trying to make this sport, many people are, and we're trying also to make it an, an Olympic sport. Would you support that? Of course, of course. We already have it in the works. So we'll, we'll be seeing some some handball stuff uh, in the near future without saying too much about it. Can we call it also one wall because uh, we're trying to advertise one wall? Handball is a competition of a million, million, multi-million audience for the European handball. Yeah, yeah. And on YouTube and everything else we're competing, we, can, we cannot beat them, there is no reason. Can we call it at least one wall handball? Well, we have the different varieties of handball, right? We have wall ball, we have small ball, handball, we have uh, four wall, three wall. So there's a lot of different handball versions. So it's just a matter of picking uh, one and then riding that into the Olympics or whatever we're going to do. Right now we have the Worlds. So that would be our version of the Olympics. Yes, sir. Hey, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> I have more questions, that's why. Oh, okay. I, okay, what's up? Oh, man. Um, I... Uh, do you have any questions for me, actually? Do I have any questions? Um, how's how's the website going? How's everything going with the with your work? Um, it's trial and error. Yeah. So we're trying, we're trying. So it's not gonna be a perfect when it's gonna appear, mm -hmm. but slowly, slowly, we're gonna develop and include like people's opinion and how could, could we make it better. So hopefully, it's gonna come out as something beautiful. Keep going at it. I, I've enjoyed a lot of the work that you've done, so it's enjoyable. <laughs> I appreciate you, sir. Thank you. Appreciate now, you. now, the next half an hour, let's just talk about what you said. Yeah. <laughs>